Evening accounting students, I hope this found you well. In the previous lesson, we were looking at how to prepare the ordinary share capital. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at how to prepare the SARS income tax account. And I hope that as you prepare for your assessment, um, this will help you to get a much more clearer picture in terms of how this account should be completed. Um, one of the things that I've noticed is that most students always get confused, you know, getting to decide whether SARS income tax account should be an asset or should it be a liability. Now, what you need to know is that it will depend on the information that we're given. It will only become an asset if on the information that we're given, um, the balance is on the debit side or it has a debit balance and then it will be a liability if the balance is on the credit side or it has a credit balance. So with that being said, let's continue with the lesson. Um, in this information, we are told that our financial year is ending on 30 June 2014, which is very important. Um, when you do this account, you need to pay attention uh, to your dates because this will help you to be able to know where, where are you going, how are you going with your information. Here, they are telling us that the extracted balances on 1 July 2013 indicated that SARS income tax had a debit balance. Um, at the beginning of the year, so which means that um, we had overpaid SARS in the previous year, meaning that um, SARS now owes us. So hence, SARS income tax at the beginning of the year will become an opening balance on the debit side. So when you get that information, you make sure that you transfer it as quickly as possible. So I'm going to do that so that we avoid wasting time. So. Remember, our year is starting on 1 July 2013, so it means that on SARS income tax account on 1 July 2013, um, we're going to have our balance brought down as that 8,000. So I'm going to write it 8,000 here. And then from there, you go to transactions that relate to the provisional payments. And then here they're saying that um, the company will make two equal provisional tax payments on 31st August and uh, 28 February 2014 and then they will be totaling to 360,000. They are saying that the first payment on 31 August 2013 must be offset, uh, must offset the amount due to be refunded by SARS for the last year's overpayment. So like I said that from the previous year we had overpaid SARS. Now when we start the new year they have to refund us. So instead of them refunding us, they said, you know what, on the provisional payments that you're going to make, we'll give you a deduction of 8,000. So this means that on the, what we have to do, because they told us that they will make two equal provisional payments, what we are going to do then, we are going to take this 360,000. And then we divide it by two so that we can know how much they were equally supposed to pay. So if you take that 360,000 and then you divide it by two, it will give you 180,000. So this means that for each payment, they were supposed to pay 180,000. But we must keep it in mind that they said that they will offset um, the balance of 8,000, which means that they will be given a reduction. So what we are going to do then, um, we are going to subtract 8,000 from this on the first provisional payment. But when you do your calculations you must show them uh on your answer sheet because now we are making use of this electronic marking you know and so forth and i will advise you to also avoid writing in pencil because sometimes when they scan your answer book um you find out that it's not clear and then you end up losing marks unnecessary so here we'd have 31st august um 2013 and then we'd have bank and then we must remember that uh, for the first payment, they are not going to pay 180,000. They will just um, subtract 8,000 from that. So we are going to do that and subtract that 8,000. If we do that, we'll realize that we'll be left with 172,000. And then remember this information because we are making a payment. It is taken from the cash payment journal. And then on the last provisional payment, we are going to pay the total 180,000 so we can have uh, uh we can have 30 june 
um 2014 and then would have bank here and then our reference will be from the cash payment journal and then this will be 180 because that's what we're going to pay okay and then from there you go and look for the information that relates to the income tax you just want to find out what are they saying to you about the income tax are you uh you're gonna have to do a comparison is what they are saying you're supposed to pay more or less than what you have actually paid and then we'll get that information from the adjustments here they're saying that the net profit for the on the 30th of june 2014 they're saying that the net profit for the year after taxation um amounted to 945 thousand because they're saying that the net profit after taxation of 30 percent it means that net profit after tax is 70 percent so what would be interested in getting um it will be to just understand what was the tax percentage what was that 30 percent okay so now what we're going to do we will then take um we will then make use of the k method what the k method says to you is that you make use of what is uh, known to get the unknown so we know that our net profit after tax is 945,000, which represents uh the 70 percent and an income tax is 30 percent but now the income tax amount is unknown only the percentage is known to all. so what we're going to do we'll then go to the sales income tax account remember in this case income tax is an expense so it means whole income tax is going to be debited we'll debit income tax and then we'll credit um sars income tax okay then this means that we are going to come on this side um at the end of the year i think it's 30 june uh 2014 and then would have income tax here remember this is from the general journal and then we will need to do calculations so we are going to say 945,000 multiply by remember we wanted the tax rate so we're going to say multiply by 30 over 70 because net profit after tax is 30 percent and then what we are given is a bargain net profit after tax is 70 percent so remember the, the 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 one that we want is always at the top we wanted the 30 percent but we have 70 percent and then also like i said this is from the general journal and then we're going to put the amount here so we take 945,000 multiply by 100 divide by sorry and then we cancel it uh 945,000 multiply by 30 divide by uh 70 and then it will tell us how much was the income tax according to this income tax is supposed to be 405,000 if you look at the payments that we have made they are equal to 360,000 we were supposed to pay 405,000 so which means at the end of the year SARS becomes a liability we can therefore say try to totalize this side and then have a balance carried down on the debit side so that SARS at the end of the year can become a liability so here we're going to have 405,000 and then also this side we're going to have 405,000 and then um remember on the 1st of July 2014 um would have a balance um a balance brought down which is, is supposed to be the same as the carry down so if we say three hundred and sixty thousand or we can maybe simply say four hundred and five thousand minus three hundred and sixty thousand so that we can get how much we are owing to SARS and then we are realizing that we actually owe SARS forty five thousand so on the thirtieth of June uh 2014 uh our balance carried down here our balance carried down will be 45000 okay and then this will be the balance brought down for the new year 45000 so if it means that in this case we are owing sars uh 45000 for income tax remember the 
provisional payments that we've made they equaled to 360,000 but our tax assessment showed that we were supposed to pay 405,000 so it means that we owe SARS the, the difference which is 45,000 and then at the end of the year SARS income tax will become a liability if you want me to explain this to you on a personal level you're welcome to book this uh to book your personal lesson based on the details that will be provided in the description box of this video thank you so much for watching god bless you